How the U.S. Army is gearing up to fight Russia and China. The United States Army is at a crossroads as the Pentagon is reorienting itself to fight a capable great power opponent, after nearly two decades focused on counterinsurgency conflicts. To avoid the earlier dramatic failure of super programs like the Future Combat System, the United States Army plans to adopt off-the-shelf solution where possible and operationally test numerous projects before deciding which merit the funding to ramp up to full-scale development and production. Russia poses a traditional land power challenge for the America Army, with its large mechanized formations threatening the Baltics, as well as formidable long-range ballistic missiles, even artillery, and surface to our missiles. By contrast, a hypothetical conflict with China, would focus on control of the sea, and airspace over the Pacific Ocean. To remain relevant, the U.S. Army would need to deploy long-range anti-ship-capable missiles and helicopters to remote islands, allied nations like Japan and South Korea, and even onto the decks of U.S. Navy ships. Almost all the United States Army major land warfare systems entered service in the 1980 or earlier. Five ambitious programs to replace aging armored vehicles, artillery and helicopters consumed $30 billion only to fail spectacularly. However, in 2017 the U.S. Army formed eight cross-functional teams, led by Brigadier Generals to rapidly cost-efficiently develop a new generation of hardware. The U.S. Army was famed for its lavish, even rapid and accurate use of artillery support during World War II. However, in recent conflicts, the U.S. military has increasingly relied on airstrikes using precision weapons over artillery barrages. However, on-call air support would be far from given when facing a pure enemy possessing formidable air defenses. In fact, long-range missile and artillery strikes might be needed to destroy air defenses, kicking in the door for air power. The artillery branch is other mainstay, like the truck-based M270, and also smaller M142 multiple rocket launcher systems, will receive extended-range rockets doubling reach to 93 miles. Their capability, to launch a single large, 180-mile range army tactical missile system, will be replaced with two smaller precision strike missiles, with a range of 310 miles that can hit moving targets. The U.S. Army's second priority, is to replace its increasingly vulnerable and underpowered M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. In 2018, the Army decided to proceed with improving the Bradley's powertrain, but cancelling replacement of its turret. And now, the U.S. Army has also begun procuring turretless Bradleys, to serve as armored multi-purpose vehicle, and replacing old M113 APC, in support roles such as combat engineering, utility transport, ambulance duty, even command post, and mortar carrying. The United States Army is also installing trophy, and Iron Fist active protection systems on Abrams and Bradley tanks and these detect incoming missiles and jam or shoot them down before impact. As long-range anti-tank missiles have destroyed hundreds of tanks in Middle Eastern wars, including Saudi-operated Abrams, and active protection system could significantly improve survivability. Helicopters are essential for battlefield and operational mobility, however they are also expensive, relatively slow, 150-200 miles per hour, short-ranged and vulnerable to enemy fire. However, the U.S. Army is looking ahead to a radical new future vertical lift system, to eventually replace its over 2,000 Black Hawk medium transport helicopters and its heavily armed and armored Apache gunships. 
two innovative flying prototypes are competing. The Bell V280 Valor is a tilt rotor aircraft that it can rotate its engines from a helicopter to an airplane-like configuration. The likely more complex and expensive Valor would boast greater speed, 320 miles per hour, and range. And air and missile defense. The air supremacy courtesy of the US Air Force has reduced the demands on the Army ground-based air defenses, which have been heavily downside. However, new threats posed by swarming drone attacks and proliferating cruise and ballistic missiles have made rebuilding the air defense branch a huge priority. And the US Army is currently also focusing on maneuver short-range air defense vehicles accompanying frontline troops to shoot down low-altitude threats. Now, the US Army plans to field 8x8 Strickers armed with Stinger and Hellfire missiles, anti-drone jammers and 30mm cannons. And implementation. The US Army is curtailing 186 older programs and procurements, including downsizing CH-47F heavy transport helicopters, and also the Joint Light Tactical Vehicle Humvee replacement orders, aiming to ensure the Big Six's 31 initiatives receive a targeted $33 billion in funding through 2024.